This game is rated M for Mature. Guess after this, there'll be one less to worry about. Yeah, he ain't pretty. And I was correct. Um, this part right here is the Verdugo. And if we can aim at his head, there we go. Because once you can hit the head with just one shot to knock that down, bring out your rocket launcher, take aim at Salazar, and just hit him. That's that entire boss fight. Of course, if you bought the rocket launcher uh, during the first chapter, uh, during the village portion, uh, you could do a very similar thing against uh, Mendes, where once he entered the second phase, you could just shoot him with a rocket. But now we are just free to roam around here. Pick up whatever items are here, because they're going to help us a lot as we go to the island where Ashley is now being held. So whatever ritual they did, we were too late. We can just hope that, the, that we can save her fast enough uh, once we get to said island. So, just gonna nab these. And one last place to loot, and then we can just loot the corpse. Alright, I think that's... yeah, that's everywhere. So, climbing up here. He leaves behind a huge pile of money. And, yeah, we, we need to... Desperately reorganize here. Uh, I'm gonna put one herb there. But yeah, if you know that way of dealing with um, Salazar, then you know this boss ain't too bad to deal with. Else. It's just, you shoot the Verdugo in the eye uh, until Salazar reveals himself, and then you just shoot him a bunch until he dies. Rinse and repeat. Meanwhile, you can get rid of him in just like a couple of seconds with one, like two, yeah, I believe like one or two shots um, with the Magnum. And then just shoot Salazar uh, with a rocket. That's the reason why I saved the rocket launcher <laughs> when we get that one for free. So, 
So we're at the back of the castle. Green herb, some rifle ammo. Don't remember if we're at full. Yeah, we're at full on this. Nothing here. So, climb on the wall of the castle. Yet another snake. Oh, that's good, because you're basically guaranteed to, you know, drop a goddamn... Uh, there we go. Finally hit him. Golden chicken egg. Yeah, we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna eat that. Uh, we can sell that for a lot of money. So, taking this elevator down. And well, check the map here. Yeah, I lied. There's one more. Um, merchant spot for us and this is basically the last uh, merchant spot and save point in the entire castle you know which is nice if you've been playing for a long time and you just beat a boss and you don't have time to play more you can just sell stuff and save uh, we're gonna sell some stuff Uh, the Punisher will have one more thing. Um, once you have fully upgraded a weapon, it will gain one more thing you can buy for a lot of money. Uh, but I believe that will be available to us in the next chapter. Uh, golden Chicken Egg is 3,000. No, oh, it's right here. 40,000! The exclusive power-up for this... Let's us now blast a hole through five enemies. But that ain't too bad. Thank you. A damn good weapon. Uh, the TMP and the mine thrower now have uh, upgrades to them as well. Which is great. Alright, let's finish off at least this episode, this recording session. By finishing off chapter 4 4 with a cutscene. Need a ride, handsome? <laughs> okay. Business to take care of. See you later. <sighs> Women. I hate to break it out to you, but Salazar is dead. Yes, it seems that way. Sadler, why don't you give up and let Ashley go home? Perhaps you are disillusioned with overconfidence. Just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. Oh. <laughs> Rive in my cage of torment, my friend. Well. Welcome to the final section of Resident Evil 4, the island. Uh, that way is progress. So we're gonna start by climbing up here. Get some money. 
and an emerald. And now we can head this way. So we can hear Ashley in the background. And we have a heavily fortified area. Now we can shoot out the spotlights. Alright, we know where they took Ashley. We just need to, well, get there. I believe so yeah we have another new form of ganado to deal with which is the soldier ganados or the army ganados so we're gonna stop by Rotating this, I believe, somewhere around here. Uh, we just need to remember that these can be rotated. And say hi to Jojo. He is the army equivalent of the chainsaw guy. Uh, durable. With a really annoying weapon to deal with. And he can't be uh, meleeed. There we go. Dealt with him. Uh, I'd say the Magnum is the best way to deal with these big guys. Um, be it Jojo or something else. Rather infamous from this game. Yeah, with Jojo deal dealt with, we have an easier time surviving. I think as most we have is throwing weapons and flails right now. Okay, I'm pretty sure I moved out of the way. And lovely to see that my game doesn't stop being fresh. And over there we have the source of the static sound and here as well. Uh, these guys are equipped with stun batons. They do a lot of damage and they briefly stun you if they hit you. So every time you hear one of those, you want to deal with them fast. Speaking of dealing with fast. Uh, we're gonna flashbang that Las Plagas. And then we're just gonna deal with these people. Oh god. And yeah, as you see, that guy is heavily armored, so, uh, he is a bit harder to hit, he basically needs to be hit, um, on the legs, and then that's that, basically. Mind darts and money, or maybe I just hit his head. Uh, you gonna fall? Yeah. Alright. 
these guys sure know how to uh, roll out the red carpet for us. TMP ammo. And I believe a ladder. Here. Alright, let's not mess with this yet and see if we can find out the little puzzle we have here to open the door. We check that and a laser comes out. It's being reflected by that mirror. So we need to reflect it back onto uh, this sensor right here. Uh, luckily this doesn't hurt you. It's not like the um, similar laser puzzle in um, Resident Evil 5 where the laser can be lethal. So, change this reflector to right there. And then back over to the other side. So seeing as we're in a new area and a new chapter, we will have some new weapons. Uh, but they will become apparent once we meet up with the merchant again. But that's quite a ways, ways away from our current location. So heading up here.